Hey guys, John here. Today I wanted to show you another plugin I made. This is a 31 band linear phase, dual channel, saturation, and a Q adjustment EQ. So that's a lot in a nutshell. So let's kind of go through this and break this down just a little bit. So for this demonstration, I have a vocal from Vila. Everything's right for tonight. I'm gonna dance, dance. And we're gonna use this for demonstration purposes. So first off, what we're looking at here is these 31 bands and these numbers here are gonna to correspond to that specific frequency that we wanna boost or cut. And as you can see here in the center, there's no change at zero dB, but you do have 15 plus and 15 minus. Generally on the analog ones, you'll have either plus six or plus 12. I felt let's go bigger than that. Let's go plus 15 up and, pl and minus 15 down. So we have a little bit more headway to make. Also, I felt too that with this digital version, we have a left channel, which is the top one, and we have the second channel, which is the right. So you can run a stereo signal into this plugin and then individually adjust the EQ changes on the left channel only or the right channel only if you want to do that. Also, if you don't want to do that, you can hit this channel one only button. Now this will process your stereo or mono signal just in this top row here. So keep that in mind. So if we listen to this vocal again, and this is channel one off, so this is going to be processing through the left and the right channel independently. Everything's right for tonight. I'm gonna dance. So we can hear that change at 1.6. Everything's right for tonight. I'm and because of this idea of going left or right, so a stereo EQ, I felt it would have been necessary to also have a solo for the left and the right, so you can kind of listen to whichever one. So for listening to this boosted just in the left at 1.6, everything's right for. We can hit tonight, that left button, and gonna it's gonna just gonna dance, listen to that side. Dance. With you, baby. If we want to go to the right, Everything's the same right thing happens there. I'm so we can boost something like 1K. With you, baby. 800. Everything's right for 125. I'm gonna dance, 2K. 2.5. With you, baby. 2 Everything's right for tonight. I'm gonna dance. So we can kind of see how that's all stereo. Everything's right for tonight. I'm gonna dance. And then you can also alt click all of these to go back to zero for no change if you'd like as well. And something to keep in mind that I thought so with these 31 band EQs, each th three of these bands will basically EQ one octave, right? So we have 20, and then if we get we have three here, and then we go to the fourth one, it's gonna be 40, so it's gonna be a doubling, which is the next octave up. So my thought process was, okay, the width of that Q, I don't like the concept that it's exactly fixed. It would be kind of cool to move that a little bit, which is why I added this purple knob here. So in the center, it's pretty close to how the traditional function would work. But if you turn it to the left, it's going to be a very, very narrow type of bandwidth. And if you go to the right, it's going to widen that on the smooth setting. So you can kind of adjust with that if you'd like to. So if there's a very specific frequency or something that's kind of in that signal that you want to bring out, then you can find the band, whichever one it is, let's say like 4K, let's bring that down. And then you can turn this to the left to really target that 4K specifically. So... Also, the, one of the last things I also added is the saturation. Those generally aren't on these 31 band EQs, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to add that. So if we have the signal here. Everything's right for tonight. I'm gonna dance, dance with you, baby. So it's a little saturation. Once you get past the 50% mark, it starts to really kick in a little bit more. I didn't want this knob to be very strong. It's kind of almost a subtle effect to add just a little bit of grit or I guess maybe if you want to call it analog-ish type of sound. Everything's right for tonight. I'm gonna dance. So a little bit would make a big difference. And there's also the master bypass too if you want to listen to it. Everything's right for tonight. I'm gonna dance. So to make the drastic, let's turn our saturation all the way up. Everything's right for tonight. Then we can master bypass dance, that. Dance, dance with you, baby. So the, one of the last couple things I wanted to show you is with this surgical and smooth knob, I kind of wanted to show you exactly what it's doing. So here in, under the hood, this is kind of crazy, uh, <laughs> all this spaghetti stuff here. But so let's look at the band, the left band 8 through 14. So let's alt click this so it stays open. And let's go back to our EQ here. So we can move these different knobs here and we see how that affects that EQ. So we put these up, all these here, and have kind of a spike going on here, right? So what's going to happen if I bring this up here, close this window, and make this a little bit bigger. So over here in this EQ, we can see these, these widths are basically pretty low. Now this is going to be in the center here. Now if we want this more surgical, we can turn this to the left, and then all of those will be pretty, pretty tight, as tight as they can actually be, so it's zero. 
However, if we all click this, it's going to go back to its default, or if we want more of a smooth, we can turn this to the right and it's going to smooth those out. And with the higher boosting values, the more boost of these of this cue that you're going to notice. So if we have all these back to the center here, and let's boost maybe just one right here like that. So we have this in the center, and this is going to be the default bandwidth shape. And the more we go surgical to the left, it's going to tighten that up. And then to the right, it's going to widen those out. And this does it globally for every single band. So if we have a lot of these EQs up, this is going to control every single one. And if you look down here, it's kind of hard to see where the bandwidth is. We can kind of see the colors kind of go away and come as they, as they please. And it's very low values too, because this is kind of a sensitive knob. So keep that in mind as well. So I believe that covers most of this uh, of this EQ. And like I said in the beginning, this is a free plugin. You can download it at the link below, and then you have to load it as a patcher insert effect. So put the patcher plugin on top of your insert on your channel. So over here, if we look at our track here, it's gonna be a patcher. And then if we wanna load it, you'd hit this arrow here, and then you go to presets, and then you load your own preset from there, or this preset from there. So hopefully you guys can use this. I thought it was a pretty cool idea. So let me know if you like it. If you like the video, like the plugin, give a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one.